The most common mistakes that startups make when they talk to corporates basically revolve around not being able to clearly articulate what the, the value is. So very often a, a startup will approach a corporation and the negotiation basis or the, the difference between the two is so stark that one can kind of say jump and the other kind of says how high. Often startups don't really understand the kind of superpowers they have. And the superpowers they have is that they can act and move much more quickly than any corporate can. Startups need to sort of understand that their moment is to explore, to, to innovate, to find new things, to take some risks. Can you communicate a new narrative? Can you inspire people to see that if they work with you, you'll create a kind of new normal. In an early stage company, all you're really selling mostly is yourself. You won't have a super structured product yet. You know, you shouldn't have. You should have an, an MVP, a minimum viable, minimum lovable product. You should have something that is kind of embarrassing to take out to the world. But you're kind of saying, look, see this kind of ugly duckling? This could be a brilliant swan and I'm the person to do it. You know, humility is always good. Being obsessed with what you're doing is always good. And being able to communicate that, being able to show value, being able to show what you can do that other corporate partners can't do or larger companies can't do. Speed of execution and being able to do things quickly and being able to pivot, being able to be more creative, more innovative, more exploratory. And once you're aware of that, it should give you more confidence in how you approach larger partners. Corporations are looking for cool things to execute on. Just, just bring them out.